we are continuing to see, uh, I guess, what is probably a reassuring picture of uh, a stabilisation in the number of new infections and in fatalities in China? That's right. So 125 new cases reported for yesterday. And as you say, uh, the day before we got 202 cases. Look, this is the lowest number, 125, since around January the 22nd. So as you rightly say, this does continue that trend of slowing rates of infections here in China. 31 additional deaths. So they had now more than 2,000 900 deaths. The total infection rate here in China is uh, and remains above 80,000. But importantly as well, the number of people who have been discharged who have seen to be recovered from this disease is now above 47,000. So yes, it does seem that the rate of infections here continues to moderate with the key caveats of, to, as, as well. Obviously, two key caveats. One is that there remains a great deal of scepticism over the transparency around Chinese data, the quality of Chinese data. The other, of course, is that you could see another tick up in rates as people return to work, as the number of employees get back into their factories and, and workplaces across China. So those are two key caveats to what seems like, at least on the surface, a positive trend here continuing in China. What about the rest of the world, though? Well, you mentioned South Korea. That is obviously an area of deep concern in this part of the world. So an additional 477 or so cases uh, reported out of South Korea. So taking the total there to more than 4,800. Most of those, it seems, are in and around Daegu City. That's why you have the U.S. warning their citizens to curtail travel to that part of South Korea. And beyond Asia, of course, you're looking at places like Iran, where you have at least 1,500 uh, confirmed cases there. You have the WHO officials flying into that country with testing kits for as many as 100,000 tests of the virus in that country, where the health system, of course, is very fragile. The economy is very weak. It's of great concern, that country, Iran, and the spread in the Middle East. Europe, of course, you've seen additional cases in France and Spain. The first case is in Berlin. UK, you've now got more than 40 cases. The European Union have set up a special task, board, task force to implement and try to tackle this virus in Europe as well. And, of course, in Washington, Washington state yesterday declaring a state of emergency. They have now four confirmed deaths in that state. New York, they had their first confirmed case, and they expect to see more there. And, of course, that key health official at the NIH saying that now a pandemic, again, is very likely in the U.S. And Tom, in the meantime, President Trump's been telling drug makers just to get it done when it comes to therapeutics and vaccines. We know that Xi Jinping's been putting pressure on Chinese pharma for some time now on the same. Uh, that's right. So you had uh, both Trump and Pence, Trump meeting with heads of companies like Gilead Sciences and Pfizer and saying that they were being uh, very successful. He didn't give many details on that. Of course, he previously said that they were very close to getting a vaccine. His health officials, his own health officials, saying that in fact, it's at least 12 months to 18 months away before you do get a vaccine. But six weeks away from a clinical trial, that is what we're hearing from the U.S. now. And Mike Pence, of course, is also part of these efforts and says there is now a consortium of drug makers trying to tackle the question of how to get a vaccine for the coronavirus. And you're right, over here in China as well, President Xi Jinping going to a research lab and saying that he wants to see stepped-up efforts uh, to build out and develop a vaccine as well in China. So both leaders, it seems, looking ahead to the future when, of course, officials, health experts said this could be a recurring disease now, an annual disease. And so clearly in the U.S. and in China, uh, the efforts are underway to try and develop a vaccine for this.